today i will cover the optics which is a very important part of your 12th physics curricula i believe my dear students you will definitely follow all my videos and try to understand the things in your own way definitely this will help you out if you developed positivity in you and try to fight with the present situation i understand and believe that you all are a great fighters you will show your enthusiasm your curiosity and try to learn through this new world so let us begin with refraction of light you all had gone through this topic in class 10th also the refraction of light is bending of light when the light enters from one optical medium to another optical medium we all know that there are two types of optical media we can say on the basis of comparison and these two are rarer and denser medium when the light enters from one optical medium to another optical medium then it bends or deviates from its original path if it had not deviated it would travel along this dotted path but since the medium is changed this ray is found to be bent in this way that we say it is bending towards the normal this is the normal on this interface this surrounding medium is air and this medium is glass this ray is considered as incident ray and this ray is considered as refracted ray you can see the ray is bent towards the normal this angle we call angle of incidence this angle we call as angle of refraction if we name this boundary of glass medium as a b c d then you can see there are two cases of refraction one is at the interface ab and another one is at interface cd when the light emerges out through the surface cd then also the light is refracted in what way it is refracted that is very important to understand it will not deviate on any of the arbitrary path it is necessary that these two rays that is the incident ray and emergent ray are parallel 
so in that way you can see the two rays are parallel which are incident ray and emergent ray this is again the normal on the surface so this time this is angle of incidence and this is angle of refraction i mark them as i and r just to differentiate just to differentiate between these two refraction at interface ab at interface cd when the light enters to this glass medium through the interface ab we call it the refraction from rarer to denser medium when the light or ray of light emerge out from this glass slab at interface cd we call it the refraction from denser to a rarer medium so basically refraction is what it is a bending of ray of light from its original path due to refraction the light ray of light deviates from the original path and follows another path as you can see very clearly the angle of refraction in case when it is rarer to denser is less than angle of incidence that is for rarer to denser theta r is less than theta i and we can say that ray bends towards the normal similarly when it comes to dense to rarer this angle of refraction is greater than angle of incidence the ray bends away from the normal <coughs> now few more things we have to understand in this regard or in case of refraction that there are two laws of refraction the first law says that all three rays
are in same plane it means all these three rays incident ray refracted ray and emergent ray they are in same plane same plane means the plane in which we are writing here is the plane in which all these three rays are present the second law is very important and this law is known as snell's law according to this law sin theta i upon sin theta r would be constant for the given pair of media and color of light it means if we are having like uh, uh, air and glass here and any of the color of light then for different values of angle of incidence we will get different values of angle of refraction and this ratio would be constant for all the angles for example if theta is 30 45 29 32 like this and accordingly whatever value of angle of refraction we get if we take this ratio sin theta i upon sin theta r that would be constant if the color is changed this ratio will also change and this ratio is equal to refractive index of the medium in which refraction is taking place so we can say and then sin theta i upon sin theta r is equal to refractive index of the medium which medium we are talking about here the medium in which refraction occurs this ratio gives the refractive index of the medium as well now you know about the refractive index definitely you have studied about this concept in class 10th also that refractive index of a medium is the bending ability of that medium of light it means by what angle the ray will be bent that depends on refractive index of the medium fundamentally the refractive index is given by the ratio of speed of light 
in the two medium we have mu 2 1 is equal to v1 upon v2 and mu 1 2 is equal to v2 upon v1 this mu 2 1 is the refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium and this ratio mu 1 2 is refractive index of first medium with respect to second medium you can see we have two notations here mu 2 1 and mu 1 2 we have to understand the difference between these two very clearly and comprehensively when we talk about mu 2 1 it means the light is entering from 1 to 2 and when we talk about mu 1 2 it means the light is entering from second to first for the purpose of convenience always one is used for rarer medium and two is used for denser medium so when it comes to mu to one means the refraction is taking place in medium two that is denser medium when we talk about mu one two then refraction is taking place in first medium that is a rarer medium this ratio v1 upon v2 is the ratio of the speed of light in first medium to the speed of light in second medium and here the ratio v2 upon v1 is the speed of light in second medium to the speed of light in first medium if first is error medium and second is denser medium then the speed of light in rarer medium is faster than the speed of light in denser medium it is it is the criteria that how do we uh, differentiate between rarer medium and denser medium so one thing is very clear from these two equations that mu 1 2 is equal to 1 upon mu 2 1 so dear students this was the first lecture related to the fundamental of reflection of light the second lecture you will get the further concept of the refraction thank you for watching the video